All right, folks, good afternoon and welcome back to another episode of the Castaway Crew. For the last couple of months, I've been busy building camps and helping out where I can for a company called Kill and Bear North Safaris. It is because of them that I'm able to make this video and the videos to come. Where we're going to fish is quite possibly the last frontier of tiger fishing and maybe the new frontier. It has hardly been explored. We barely scratched the surface of what that river can produce. Come up on a new hole. There's been this pack of tigers that have been following the fly. Oh, he's right underneath it. Oh my god, he missed it again. Oh, oh, that it went for the dry fly. What the hell went for the dry fly? Oh, and it broke me off. It broke me off. To everyone that's watching this, this is the first video and first recorded evidence of what I think being one of the best rivers in the world for tiger fit. Oh. There it is. No. Oh, he smacked it again. He smacked it again. Are you joking? And again. <laughs> Yay! There are yellowfish in there. Look at that! Look at that! And there's big, big, big catfish. Vundu. Oh my god, that's a big Vundu. My aim is to go out and just see how much river frontage there is. We just let him rest for a second. And there he goes. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. You know, I'm incredibly privileged to be able to work for Killenberry North Safaris and to be able to fish some of the rivers that I am able to here. Uh, and hopefully throughout the videos and the videos to come, you guys will be able to see why. My job here is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. One, assessing what fishing we have access to. Two, protecting it. And three, ensuring the infrastructure is here so that when clients come, they have the most amazing experience. I want to bring you guys along with us on this journey here at Killenberry North Safaris because simply put, it's absolutely magical and there's nowhere else on this earth quite like it. Okay, all right folks, uh, this is it. This is the start of the, the explorationary trip up uh, the River X. I'm very, very stoked. This is the river behind us here. As you can see, it's very intimate water. You can pass the other side. Uh, I've got a host of weaponry. Uh, I've got oh, flies by the shit out of you here. Uh, this is a nine weight, uh, which is gonna be kitted out with one of my mates uh, fly and then my A-way will be rigged with one of my home type flies and then I've got this sneaky little bugger which is a five weight with a small I say small but it's small for tiger flies um, so we'll see how, how it fares up against some of these tigers here uh, there's only one way to find out and there's only an hour or two of daylight left uh, so hopefully stay tuned and we might have a tiger on in a few minutes <laughs> That's caught on a five weight with a floating line. I saw the whole thing happen. Um, insane, insane, it's incredible. That was what, within four or five cars. Uh, the fishing here is just insane. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. That is the first tiger of the trip, eh? <laughs> Alright folks, that is the very first tiger of the trip. It took no longer than three or four casts. I'm gonna put him back real quick. Okay guys, we're gonna go for the release. How insane! 
three casts in, first fish. Um, I'm gonna have a few more casts using exactly that lure. I'm gonna see if I can get the take on camera for you guys. Um, but like I said, this is a pretty special place and there's a lot more to come. Stay tuned. Hopefully you guys got to see that as well as I did. Um, I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. Woo! Uh, but yeah, he came out and absolutely crunched it. Yay! <laughs> All right, folks. This is the second fish. There we are, folks. Another lovely tiger. Oh, yeah. Yay! Come on! Second fish within probably 20 minutes or so. Um, I don't think tiger fishing really gets much better than that. I have a few more cars. Uh, the boys have set up camp. I think I'm probably gonna head up there. Uh, yeah, and just, and just take in all of this incredible environment, this incredible river. I've only been here, like I said, 20 minutes. Um, and I think everyone's shocked at just how quickly it's taken to actually hook a tiger fish. Are you to real? Oh. Yeah. All right, folks, uh, I'm gonna call it there. I'm losing light quite quickly, uh, and this camera isn't very good at low light. I'm also going to make my way up to the camp uh, before it gets too dark, and the buffalo and the lions and all the lovely animals around here come out. I definitely don't wanna be caught on the riverbank with a lion coming the other direction. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna check out for now. Uh, we'll catch up tomorrow morning. It should be an epic day. A lot of walking, a lot of fishing, a lot of water, hopefully a lot of fish. Um, we'll catch up with them. Down in the trenches, what a silly place to meet. She who calls your heart to be. And where this goes, nobody knows. But what you see, I will believe. For those of you that are watching this at home and thinking this is something that you really like to do or something that you'd really like to experience, please don't hesitate at all. Uh, follow the links down below and contact me. You can either follow the links to the social pages on Instagram or just directly email me. And on the other hand, if you want to directly go onto the Killimbera fishing page, uh, there you'll find all of the packages that are offered uh, that can accommodate you coming here and having an experience like this.